Up next, we have another performance. Uh, we have Tim Griffin, who founded uh, Griffin Education Solutions. Uh, Tim taught all subjects in Title I elementary schools in Los, Ange in Los Angeles for 18 years before giving up his tenure to start Griffin EDU. He has three songs, specifically science-themed, just for you. Everyone, please give a big round of applause to Tim Griffin. Cheetahs chase gazelles at 80 miles an hour, but they never chase the fast gazelles. They're lazy just like you, so the cheetahs eat the slow ones, and gazelles get faster too. It's a natural selection, and it isn't blasphemy. It just means that creation is a process you can see. Survival of the fittest means you've got to be the best, because nature will get rid of all the rest. And all of this is going to be on the test. So, hi. So I'm Tim Griffin. I run GriffinEd.org. We're a nonprofit serving schools and kids, uh, mostly online, but we do free shows at schools and songwriting workshops. We run a, a website that is an online library of teaching songs, searchable by grade level and subject, mostly STEM. We have solid data that kids who work with our music for five minutes a day do better when they get tested on the topic. So here's an example of a song for middle school. You know my heart. Another thing entirely 
blood from the pulmonary veins and sends it on down through my mitral valve. My left ventricle will squeeze blood out to my arteries through my aortic valve. You know, it's sort of like a one way door to my aorta. My blood will circulate through all my system. song for you about history of cosmology. It's also a little bit about how science works. Uh, but before I do, just to let you know, if you like what you hear, all of our music is free at www.griffined.org. And uh, we also do school visits and songwriting workshops with kids. And if there's no budget for it, that's no problem because it's free. So anyway, when Isaac Newton was asked after he published the Principia, uh, how is it, sir, that you have solved all these problems that eluded everyone that came before you? And what Newton said famously was, if I see further, it's because I'm standing on the shoulders of giants. Which is kind of what we all do.
Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen.